At this time, in mid-1971, the White House felt that Teddy Kennedy, the dead president's brother, was the greatest threat to Nixon's re-election. Anything damaging to President Kennedy would inevitably spill over onto Senator Kennedy. In 1963, President Diem of South Vietnam had been assassinated in a military coup. Hunt had a suspicion that President Kennedy had been implicated in this assassination of a Catholic president. And if this could be proved, it would help to alienate the American Catholic vote that so strongly supported Teddy Kennedy. Hunt believed that there must exist in the State Department cables from President Kennedy to the American Embassy in Saigon that proved President Kennedy's culpability. Hunt had told Colson that, look, I can show you these wires in the State Department. So Hunt, using his uh, authority as a member of the White House staff and his uh, connections, people he knew while he'd been with CIA, was given the privilege of going into the files of the State Department and recovering the files as they existed. When he was unable to show that there was any direct and definite action by President Kennedy saying that Diem must die or something to that effect, he told Colson, well, it's missing. Somebody may have taken it out of the files, but I can reconstruct it. He did reconstruct it by gluing together different uh, telegrams and then Xeroxing them and make it appear as though he had the original. And then they leaked it to a reporter with the Life magazine company, a reporter who was wise enough, by the way, not to use it. Hunt was again using his literary invention in the way he had used it for the CIA. Now, a special investigation unit was being set up at the White House, the plumbers. The plumbers were the nucleus of a vigilante organization that was to try and punish without due process. With the formation of the plumbers, Hunt moved from being essentially a creator of plots to the position of acting out the role of one of his own heroes. In the plumbers, Hunt was teamed up with Gordon Liddy, a lawyer and one-time crusading district attorney who seemed to the writer to be the word made flesh of all Hunt's fictional heroes. Liddy had an undisguised preference for methods that were direct and effective, if illegal. Hunt thought him decisive and action-oriented. He admired him and called him Daddy. <laughs> 